All right, so welcome back. So let's do this. Let's just like start styling these. It shouldn't take too long now. So the first thing I'm gonna do in here is, um, I have some stylings in here on the side, so I'm just gonna grab them and you can just like follow along. So I'm gonna delete everything that I got in my app.css. And the first thing I'm gonna do is apply to the background, this kind of a green color, all right? So I can even get rid of this that we have in here. So we got this one in here. Now on my app.tsx, so my main uh, component, I have this class name of container. So what I wanna do in there is, let me just copy this. You can just basically, I'm not gonna like type it each one of them because you can just pause the video and just copy it. So we have a container with this max width, margin zero auto and so on. So it's just gonna center these things in here on the page. Um, then I'm gonna align my H1 on the page. So we had this H1 with a title. So just aligning it in here on the page. Uh, then we got some cards like that. So did I miss something? I think I had a card somewhere in here. Let me just double check. So on my app.tsx, let me just check. We got container, we got our form. Yeah, my form, I wanna pass it a class name of card. Okay, and what this does is like, in our form, just give it this nice background color of white with this kind of uh, border radius and so on. That's what we did. Okay, what else we are missing right now? Uh, we want to target the label inside of our form. So I'm gonna do in here, card label. And we wanna target as well the inputs, just to give it some nice styling as well. Okay, card input. Finally, we have the submit button. That's the last one that we need to just select. So I'm just gonna grab it. I'm just gonna go in here, copy it. And it's just some simple stylings. This, this video is really not about, um, so I'm gonna pass the button CTN. So class name of submit btn. Okay, so just to look a bit better, let me just reset my zoom that I had on the page. So this is all looking better. So if I'm gonna put in here, so this is the job, add. Look, this by itself is just looking much better now. Um, so we are just missing, if I'm not wrong, the um, this one. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go in here, I'm gonna do my CSS that I need for that. So we have, uh, let's go into the user TSX. Let me just see, do I have a user container in there? I don't have at the moment, no. Right, so let's do that, let's do that. I'm just gonna grab some row that I have in here. Let's put the row in here, that's what we need. We want to grab inside of the row the H2 as well. All right, so we have this one. So we got our rows, we got our H2s. We want to target now the paragraphs, which is this one. So let's add some styling in there, some margin 10. And finally, we're just gonna style the button. So let's do that. Copy that, go in here, and we should be okay. There it is. Look, I'm just gonna pass another user. So this is gonna be Telmo. Uh, this is gonna be the age. And this is gonna be the, is a pilot. Oops, I'm gonna add this one. Uh, so Peter, age, I'm not gonna put any age. And I'm gonna put in here, this is gonna be a doctor. So doctor, add user. And there it is. Look, you got all the users. This one is optional for the age. I can delete and add everything. All right, 
we got to the end of this project with React and TypeScript. So, of course, it was not like an extensive one where you can use everything that you can do with TypeScript, but I think it's a good project for you to just get started to see how you can use TypeScript and just get a bit more familiar. All right, so I hope that you enjoy this course and I'll see you in the next one.